This is WBEZ's Michael Puente. What makes buying a gallon of gasoline so expensive in the city of Chicago? They're often higher than New York, Los Angeles, and even Hawaii, stranded far out there in the ocean. So what gives? Well, it helps to know how gasoline gets from an oil well to the tank of your car. For starters, the price of crude oil on the global market has been sky high for the last few years. That right there is the bulk of the cost of a gallon of gasoline. But it's not the only factor. Before it gets to a gas station in Chicago, the crude oil has to be processed at one of the four nearby refineries. Now I'm standing outside the BP refinery in Whiting, Indiana, just outside the city of Chicago. Much of the gas that you purchase originates here as crude oil here at the Whiting refinery. Once here, the crude oil goes through a process to turn it into gasoline. Once finished, the gasoline is stored in massive storage tanks right outside the refinery. Once there, tanker trucks will arrive to purchase this finished gasoline product at a certain rack or wholesale price. Also, Chicago is required by the EPA to use cleaner burning fuel, the so-called summer blend. That's better for the air we breathe, but more costly to make. Despite charges of price gouging, most gas stations actually make next to nothing on the fuel itself. The real profits come from the liquids we buy inside the store, like soda and coffee. Last but not least is the tax man. The feds, the state, the county, and the city all take a cut. Much of that goes to road and highway repair. But when you add in the sales tax, it ends up being almost a quarter of the cost of a gallon of gas. And unlike other states, our sales tax is based on the overall price instead of the unit, in this case, a gallon. So the more expensive the fuel, the more you end up paying in sales tax. Like it or not, that's how it works. As for what you can do about it, well, I hear Hawaii's nice this time of year.